Paired muscle relaxation is a DBT crisis scale. It works really well for high levels of emotion, particularly anger or anxiety. It uses the five, seven breathing that we have already established. We did in another video. If you want to go look that up, you can, I'm going to review it real quick right here. Five, seven breathing works, um, to tell our brain, to tell our heart to slow down. It activates what's called the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the relaxation, the calm down system in the brain, in the nervous system. So breathing in for five seconds and breathing out for seven seconds, the exhale needs to be longer than the inhale. So we're gonna take those and pair them to create a linkage in our brain to where when we hear, say, or think the word relax, our muscles will kind of melt. So here we go. I'm gonna lead you through this. We're gonna start with our hands making fists as tight as we can to where it's not cramping or uncomfortable. I'm gonna say breathe in, you're gonna breathe in, and then I'm gonna say either breathe out or relax, and you have to say relax. The whole point of this is to get the word relax connected to the action in the body relaxing. Okay, so let's make fists, breathe in. Now say relax, let your hands relax, probably all the way in your lap. You can leave them in your lap, breathing in and making fists. And now say relax. Again, breathe in, making fists. And now say the word relax as you breathe out. Let's do that one one more time. Breathe in, making fists. Now relax, say relax. We're really focusing on one part of the body at a time. However, the rest may shift and move as well. And that's okay. So now I'm gonna ask you to bring your hands up to your shoulders and we're gonna work on this part of our arms. Try to keep your hands relaxed. So breathing in, make those muscle tensions. Now say relax and let it all Relax and melt away again. Breathe in and relax. One more time, breathe in. And I'm not doing the exact five, seven. Relax. Just trying to make sure that the exhale is longer. So we're gonna do shoulders up to ears. So breathing in. And now say relax. Again, breathing in and relax. Again, breathe in and now say relax. Tighten your jaw, so breathe in and say relax as you relax and breathe out. Feels weird to say it out loud, super important to get that connected in our brain. Breathe in and breathe out, relax. Now we're gonna make fists, fists to shoulders, shoulders to ears, it clutch our jaw, so breathe in and relax. Again, breathe in. And relax. One more time. Breathe in. And relax. Okay. Just notice how you feel in this space and time compared to when we first started. We didn't spend too much time on that, but if you notice now, continue to breathe in your nose and out your mouth, what would you say your emotion is? What would you, how could you tell that you're feeling that emotion? And what would you rate the intensity? If this worked for you, use it as often as you need. Usually, the more we use it, the faster that link in the brain is. You can use this in class, at uh, work, at school, before games, sporting events, before 
before a performance. Whatever makes sense to you. You can push your feet into the floor, do your shoulder blades, um, big muscle groups, small muscle groups. You can do this inconspicuously. You can do this before you go to sleep. Super helpful there because we're relaxing all of the muscles. If you have any questions, let me know.